event is a moment for us to just celebrate the Jane's Walk Festival, the contributions you all made, um, and to have some space to think and talk about what happened over the weekend, because there were 183 walks over three days. So incredible, incredible stuff. So um, I'm Denise, I'm the director of Jane's Walk. We have our staff here, an incredible crew of volunteers. Um, a, t a number of our walk leaders. This is really our core family, um, and we have a really exciting um, uh, hour planned for you. Um, and we're gonna and we're gonna talk about doing a bunch of um, thinking about what happened on the walk weekend, storytelling, um, sharing with the other walk leaders in the room about what happened on your walk, uh, and we hope it's gonna be really rewarding and exciting. Um, but first, I just wanted to. Uh, say a few words about what happened globally over the weekend because the, the project office is in Toronto. We steward a global movement of walking uh, festivals in cities around the world. How many people knew that? Everybody knows that here? Great. Um, so we have, we had a, um, in Ontario, 19 cities participating across Canada. There were 50 cities participating this year. Um, in the U.S., 28 different places. Um, different metropolises, and I think that that speaks to how much people need space for dialogue about where their cities are going. Um, and, and I know that nobody knows that more than this group here. So how many people have family in other places, <laughs> in Canada and in the US and around the world, and would like to help spread the, the message of this movement uh, to them? I, I would I would just open by saying you know this is something that is free and easy to do and opens up a conversation and draws on local expertise, so so talk about it talk about your walk with your uh, not only your neighbors who live in close proximity to you but everybody um, and and invite them into the project we will support them, um, so I. I'm really pleased to announce that this year we had, last year we had 134 cities participate across six continents. Um, and this year, that number has jumped to 189. So we actually, so incredible. The appetite for this project keeps climbing and climbing. Yep, yeah, Sarah. Away the first walk in Antarctica. <laughs> yeah. Right, how do we expand that to seven continents? That's the question that I'm always left with. Um, I wanted to ask you guys a couple questions about the walk weekend just by um, sort of show of hands. How many people visited a new neighborhood that they'd never been to? Oh my god, that's incredible. That's so great. Um, yell, yell them out, yell some places out. Where did you go? Yeah? Where else? Yeah. Anywhere else? North Yorkshire. Yay! Good. These, these are great answers because it leads to my next question. How many people went to walks in the suburbs this year? Show of hands. Awesome. There were some, how many people led walks in the suburbs this year? Um, it's, it's a huge city and there's so much to explore and every time I talk to walk leaders I'm so excited to hear more and more about what happened and I hope you'll get a chance to hear some stories and tell some stories today. I did want to say that, um, you know, I think the promotion and the weather was, uh, was a huge contributor to why it was such an amazing event. Um, and we had so many participants. And I heard that if you were just walking around with the um, Jane flower, that people started following some of the volunteers and asking about what walk they were on. So, um, so I think that's that's pretty incredible. I, on my on my own walk, I asked how many people knew about Jane's walk before they got to the walk, and about 75% um, uh, of them had never been on one. So I thought that was pretty remarkable, and I um, I'm I'm interested to hear from you who was there and who you engaged and who you connected with. Um, so we'll have like lots of space to talk about that. Um, I want to thank a couple of people. Um, I want to thank Shape My City, who is our partner in uh, this event today, particularly Caitlin Coulson, who has masterminded a wonderful process that we're about to jump into. You notice all of these, yeah, please. Among, 
other things, they, they're, they're walk leaders, they're supporters of the Jane's Walk movement, um, they were really involved with the walk along the Gardner to explore the future of it. But the Shake My City project is also um, one in which uh, citizens get involved in all kinds of projects all over the city. Jane's Walk is one of many, many things you can do to make your city a better place and, sh and shape it. So, um, so they're here today to take us through a really fun and high energy process where we're gonna exchange stories and, um, and we're going to talk about a question that comes to the project office, to me, quite a bit, which is, why does Jane's Walk matter? Why does it exist? Does it need to, does it need to keep being um, a global movement? And I think, and I think that this room thinks that deep down the answer is yes. So we're going to explore some of those stories to help us tell that story forward to funders and to partners and to new cities. Um, because we really are um, wanting to draw on your experiences with this project uh, to help scale the movement. Um, I also want to thank Metcalf Foundation, Havana, um, Urban Space, Live Green Toronto, Dialogue, Daniels, Context, and City of Toronto for their support this year. Um, it takes uh, we have a very small project office, but we, uh, we have about 400 volunteers that um, come out and make this thing happen. And many of them are here today, and we are going to actually, we have a little bit of surprise for them. To some, but actually for some of them it's not a surprise, <laughs> because they were helping us set up their own surprise. Um, uh, but I, I do want a round of applause to all of the, the volunteers of you guys could raise your hands. That's also great. Um, I, uh, I wanted to ask also, how many people made their walks in uh, and listed them publicly in January this year? Who were the early birds? Anybody here? How about February? Yeah, Sarah! <laughs> John. How many people listed their walks in March? Couple people? Yeah, great. How about April? Okay, yeah. Well, there's. <laughs> oh, yeah, April was the last time we could list our walks. That we listed in May, right? Did anybody <laughs> list on the, on the Saturday? Um, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's wonderful that you can put up a walk at any time. And as I was just standing out here saying hi to some of you as you came in, uh, we were talking about the great experiences you had. And, and uh, some of you were saying, you know, I, I wish that I could lead my walk again. And I just want to take a really quick moment to say you can, and we will promote your walks at all times of the year. So if that is something you'd like to do, list your Jane's Walk again, um, please do it. We are uh, we wanting to be a platform to promoting f for promoting free walking tours at all times of the year, because the city has to perform for us at all times of the year. So, um, so if you are inclined, just come and let us know, and we will help make that happen. I know a couple of you are already excited, and the wheels are turning, so that's great. Um, particularly in advance of our 10th anniversary, which is next year, in 2016, will be the 10th anniversary of the Jane's Walk Project, so it's a pretty special time for us, too. Um, Along with the 10th anniversary, it is going to be um, Jane Jacobs' centenary, the one her would have been her 100th birthday. So it's going to be a double whammy of a special event for us. Um, so anybody interested in kind of contributing ideas to uh, to next May's event, um, please let me know and bring your ideas and your passion forward because we're always interested in figuring that out. Um, I think what I'm going to do is, if I can ask Kate to help me, and also Stuart, I want to acknowledge a couple of our volunteers in particular with some uh, special certificates. Do you have the bag? Great. So we made a, a list of some of the awesome help that we've, that we've had this year. Um, and, and we are going to call some people forward to just acknowledge them and their time um, and energy to help make the festival happen this year. It was our biggest and best yet, and, uh, and it was really all due to them. So, um, yeah. Great. So, um, so first I want to thank our program assistants. Uh, we have a number of people who are support staff at the office and they do an incredible job. Um, they are probably the ones that you connect with first if you reach out to the project office. And I'd like to call them up to please come and grab a prize and, um, and please have a certificate um, to, of our thanks. Uh, first up is Georgia Light. Uh, next.
Next up is Kate Fain. Next up is Nico uh, Pena Para. up is Zainab. I'm not sure if she's here today, but thank you very much to her. Um, and last, Arlen Keen. Thank you so much. So these guys did all sorts of things. Arlen, I think, reached out to every city councillor in the whole of Toronto and tried to get them to leave WAFs, so that was a pretty amazing job. Um, and Kate supporting our outreach and connecting with our community organizations in Georgia on our info account and countless other tasks. Um, and Nico on uh, beautiful, beautiful graphics and newsletters that you all received to keep you updated this year. So they um, you know, really, really uh, support lots and lots of things. Um, I also want to thank our volunteers. Uh, so we have some, <laughs> we have some uh, uh, fun awards for them. The Social Media, uh, Media Guru Award goes to Alina Smirnova. Thank you so much for keeping everyone informed. <laughs> she says, I was tweeting as you were saying that. She's the one who promoted your walks. So if you had your walks promoted through a Twitter account, that was Alina. Thank you. Um, uh, Artemis Johnson, um, the Right Stuff Award. I don't think Artis is here, but, uh, but she was amazing, an amazing support and blogger. Um, Andrea, uh, the Above and Beyond Award uh, for just jumping in and doing almost everything. Thank you so much. For the Birthdays Come Second to Jane's Walk Award, Jasmine Frolic, <laughs> who had her birthday on the launch of the Day Festival and was still working for us. For all the graphics that you see up here and, um, and all around the website, um, the Graphic Powerhouse Award goes to Jose Ongpen. Thank you so much. The Never Missed a Meeting Award uh, to a person who is so keen and wonderful and supportive uh, to Megan Rolf. Thank you so much. <laughs> technical questions and you were reaching out to our tech support, um, Dawa um, Godup, is he around? No? Maybe he'll come a bit later, uh, but he was awesome um, and supportive on fixing our, our walk descriptions. Um, the Spreadsheet Superstar Award goes to somebody who helped count and get in touch with all of our city organizers globally, Suzanne Carson. Not here? Okay. <laughs> Um, and we had this amazing group of, uh, of people who were reaching out to new walk leaders and to you guys to follow up with your walk descriptions, make sure everything just sang and was beautiful and that you had a meeting place and that your time didn't conflict with others. Um, this, uh, this group of people was our walk leader support team, so I'd like all of them to come up here. Uh, we have Lo Lois um, Didek, Lindsay Lenters, Laura Adams, Misha, uh, Handman and Kevin Pro, um, thank you, thank you, thank you, because these guys have been all the way.
um, for the Last Minute Hero Award, and we're not sure if Estuardo is here. Um, Estuardo Ibarra? Yeah. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Who jumped in to do all sorts of graphic work around our Burlington initiative. Um, so what we're giving out are um, clean markers, what, what are they called? Brine markers, where you can fill with soapy water and you can go around to a dirty bridge and kind of write clean graffiti uh, by, by erasing some of the dirt. <laughs> those, are some of the, those are some of the prizes. Another one is the um, Buddha board, so just to zen out and, uh, and paint. Uh, and the other one, the last one, is a series of rulers with the city of Toronto um, skyline on them. So I kind of want all of those things. Um, we're, we're very grateful to Swipe and to our board member, Charles Finley, for um, their donation of these items. So thanks. So, um, so now I have, I've been given my two-minute warning already, so I, I think we're going to um, wrap up this portion and we're going to get back to talking to each other and instead of just listening to me. Um, we are really, really excited to walk you through a process of, uh, as I mentioned, talking about the walks that you were on. Um, and the process is guided, um, is going to be guided, facilitated by uh, a number of people around the room. So facilitators, would you just raise your hand so that we know where you are? Maybe stand up, actually. Yeah. So we have Nico and Lindsay and Aaliyah and Kate and myself, and we're going to be, and Howard, and Liz, and Caitlin is also raising her hand. Great. Um, who are going to take us through uh, a series of exercises to explore some themes um, from the weekend. Um, and I think what I'll do is, Kate, do you want to introduce the next part? Sure. Okay, great. Um, please give a round of applause to Kate Watanabe. Thank <laughs> you. 